tonight we're pretty much all in the one area so you see that door open there mm -hmm. that's the um, equipment room so you go get your gear and if you follow me I'll take you to the, your room I can't kind of recognize who you are for a second yeah got hair down got the locks out <laughs> this girl with her hair out got the locks out oh that spa's a bit of me I'm going see straight it, in bloody go oh. cold tell you that <laughs> I need a popcorn yeah, I need a popcorn pop <laughs> it's a bit fancy I'm very excited to be at camp. We just played a game at Walton Hall Park in Liverpool um, and then yeah, I've just driven here three and a half, four hours to get here, so yeah, I'm excited. Yeah, I think they're both important games for us. They're the type of team that we are going to face at the World Cup, um, whether in group stage or beyond, making sure that we are all across sort of the football that we want to play. We've got lots of players playing in different leagues around the world, so everyone's kind of at different stages in you know seasons or pre-seasons or um, end of season. So I think once we do come into camp, everyone shifts focus and, and you kind of worry about the loading that you have um, within the national team. So. I think everyone coming in, you, you always refocus onto that and everyone's excited to be in camp. The, the main thing is how we've been playing in, in the last couple of games. I think that, that's what you get confidence from is winning games and playing good opponents. And, you know, the next two games, I think, are, are going to be great matchups for us. Yeah, you obviously try and do everything exactly the same and um, put the pressure on yourself and as a team that it is a World Cup match or a, um, a big final match. But at the end of the day, it, it is a practice match and we'll be trying things and doing things that hopefully we can do in the World Cup. But we're not where we want to be in two months right now. Um, and that's the plan all along is to in two months be flying. But whenever we step on the field for the Matildas, we're trying to get to where we want to be. So this will be full guns blazing. Different swirls. Mm. Well, I'm mean, like, <laughs> we're all so unique. <laughs> yeah, you know? Yeah, that one's dope. Yeah, Start. that's it. I really like it. I even like the little spots on the Nike tick. I mean, I really like the blue kit, it's my favourite colour, so. Um, but I like the swells, I like that it's a bit different and retro. Yeah. White socks. White socks, nice to get dirty. Perfect for sliding around, you know. That's what I do. Go for it. Yeah! Big afternoon here in London for the Matildas. Plenty to play for and perhaps points to be made by some of these players. A great test with Ireland in mind for that opening game. Carpenter. Tony Gustafsson said some of her physical tests have come back showing she's even stronger in some departments than she was before she ruptured her anterior cruciate ligament. The second half is underway. Here's Claire Hunt deciding it's time for her first international goal. And how close was that? This afternoon here in London belongs to Scotland. A very hard fought 1 0 victory. 
Yeah, it felt really nice to be back out there with the girls after a very long time. Obviously really disappointed with the result, but yeah, we have England on Tuesday, so can't wait for that game and we just need to be more clinical. But for me, we played great football, had some great passages, we just need to put them away, but hopefully that comes on Tuesday. Just so everyone knows the script, what we're going to do, we're going to have a group mobility session run by fabulous Jacqueline. So it's going to take you 10 minutes and then after that we're going to split up and you can do what you like. So we've got hip mobility, we've got head tennis set up, we've got basketball if you want, we've got badminton, volleyball. Six. I can't believe you're getting this. Oh! 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 Oh!